Remember when we were running around Bermuda? We thought that Julian was with Teresa? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't thought about that much. Everything that's happened lately. Yeah. You don't think Teresa was... No. No. No way. Teresa was in her own room. She was... Trying to sleep off the horrible realization that she'd married Julian. And I think that Julian, only hours after marrying my sister, seduced some local girl. Not to mention that he just divorced my mother. Right? A woman who put up with his infidelity for years. I don't think I've met anyone as sleazy as Julian. That makes two of us. I can't believe that I ever got upset when I found out I wasn't his son. That's the best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> no argument there. At least I know it's not in my genes to be unfaithful. I, I, I promise you, Louise, I'm going to spend the rest of my life treating your sister with love and respect. That's the least I can do since she told me that she'll never keep a secret from me again. How many... Bullets have I dodged in the last month, Harper. <laughs> I couldn't possibly count that high without my calculator. The Teflon mogul does it again. Escapes the wrath of deputy dog Luis and my ex-son and heir, Ethan. They almost caught me in bed with, with Teresa down in Bermuda, but I thwarted their suspicions then, and I'm doing it again. Those two saps will never know that I slept with her precious Teresa. You better hope your luck holds out, Julian, because if Ethan and Luis find out that you took advantage of Teresa, you're a dead man. Where the hell is Teresa? The sooner she gets here and signs those annulment papers, the sooner I can forget this whole bloody chapter in my life. Your point is well taken, Sam. But I am still Ethan's mother. And I cannot sit by and watch him make a mistake that I truly believe will ruin his life. That's what I don't buy. I've known Teresa since she was a child. Sure, she's young and impetuous, but her heart's in the right place. She's a good girl. And I don't believe for a minute that Ethan needs protection from her. How can you say that? He is so blinded by love, he can't see what's right in front of his face. Give him credit, Ivy. I'm not sure... I'll ever get over. You're not telling me I was Ethan's father. For keeping me out of his life for so long. I gotta admit, you've done a wonderful job raising him. Thank you. No, it wasn't easy when he was surrounded by such cold, manipulative role models as Julian and Alistair. It wasn't. When I tried to teach him the values, I knew that you would have instilled in him. Well, you succeeded. Ethan's a fine young man. So give him the respect that he's due. Let him manage his own life. He can make his own decisions, including whether or not he wants to marry Teresa. 